because my team leader kindly asked me to walk and it was for a very good cause. And also I'm walking because of my two sisters that died from cancer. It wasn't breast cancer, it was bone cancer and brain cancer. So I figured if I walk for a cause for breast cancer, maybe when I'm dead and gone, someone walk for brain cancer and bone cancer. I'm walking today in honor of my, my grandmother who's been diagnosed twice with breast cancer and she is a survivor, 88 years old and still going. And I'm very proud of her and also my late mother-in-law who had passed away from breast cancer as well. So thanks for a great cause. Thank you. Everyone should do this. It's fabulous. A great experience. I decided I wanted to walk at the beginning of the year just to get moving and as things got closer. My husband and I came up with more and more people that we found out that had breast cancer and more family members and I just decided this was something that we needed to do to try and get rid of it and it's been a fabulous experience. Very emotional but great, great experience. Fantastic. Well I'm walking because I'm a cancer nurse of 30 years and I believe that we need to find a cure for this terrible disease and the cure is right around the corner. So we just need to keep walking for the cure and keep this mission alive. And when I look around, it's been fabulous. It's been fabulous. And you never know when cancer is going to strike your family. My sister-in-law was just diagnosed this past October. So, you know, it's closer to home than ever. So it meant more to me than any other thing I've ever done. birth to my daughter when I was diagnosed and that was almost 23 years ago. Um, they told me I was going to die. It had already spread to my lymph nodes and 22 years ago there wasn't much that they could do but I got part to be part of a study and apparently I got the right drugs and I'm here 23 years later. My mother has had breast cancer twice since that and my daughter is almost 23 and she has a little boy so I'm doing this for her and for my mother and my sisters but yeah it's a very very emotional thing to do and young women need to know if a doctor tells you you're too young for breast cancer you're not you're just not don't listen to them hi my name's Jane Schloss and this is my daughter Amy and I this is my second year walking and I'm an 18-year breast cancer survivor. 
and everybody did an amazingly awesome job out there. I was so proud of her. Thank you. And my name is uh, Francine. This is Jan, Jan Anita, and Pam. And we are we are the eight jobs and jiggling. <laughs> Actually, the walk started with um, half of us are family here. We have, this is my mom, Hi. who has just uh, finished battling uterine cancer. And this is my cousin Pam over here, who started us all. And this is our wonderful friend Anita, who we actually wound up walking with a couple years ago, and again last year, and now she became our team member. What, six point three million dollars? Wow! Six point yes. three million dollars. Yeah. Well, we feel great, ready to go again. Yes. All Tomorrow. Right. We're, We're out, out on the next year. <laughs> Speak for yourself. <laughs> and we want to take a minute now to honor them. These are the walkers and crew members who said, "It's not enough for me to survive. I must help save the lives of thousands to come." And so along with you, they raise the funds and they train and they join our three-day journey to be here with us. Ladies and gentlemen, will you please welcome home your Philadelphia breast cancer survivors. Yeah. 